Okay, here we go. Good times on the radio is now on TV. Okay, start your end. Mo Twister. I wonder who we're gonna run over today. This is gonna be awesome. Mojo Jojo. Don't tell me what to do. I'm doing my makeup. I don't want to wrinkle my dress. Andy Nine. Hi, I'm Andy Nine. And Grace Lee. Hey, baby. <laughs> Get the same dose of fun and laughter as they take shake and break the boot tube. Good times on radio equals good times on TV. It's crazy. It's fun. Anything under the sun. Good times with Mo, Mojo, Andy Nine, and Grace. On Studio 23, Tuesday, 11 p.m. Okay, so uh, the past, what is it? The past month, the month of March, well, a lot of news was made uh, by this uh, blog, Australian blogger named uh, Brian Grell. He was on the show last week, if you missed it. He talked about basically what was going on because, again, at the time, I, I wasn't really following as much as Mojo was. Uh, Grace was following a little bit, but now it seems like I'm overwhelmed by it. I mean, I, 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 I go to his blog, eh, maybe once a day. Maybe twice a day as, as well. And it's really gotten the attention of everybody. It's made front page newspaper news. I mean, up there with government news. I mean, that's how popular, right, Joe? I mean, it's not like front page entertainment or lifestyle. It's, it's front, front page, page of the newspaper, newspaper, world <laughs> happenings, country uh, issues. And then, pow, you'll see the name Brian Gorell or Australian blogger, high society. These are very... um. I guess tag words that are associated with this guy's blog. So he's so popular, and he's back on the show again this morning. Let's get a little update about what's going on with his blog. Brian, good morning. What's up, buddy? Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Bianca. Good morning, Brian. It's, it's nice so great to meet you. that you're on the show this morning. I'm a really big fan. You are? Yes. Wow, that's good to know. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, no problem. Thanks thanks for having me on again, if, you if guys. If she's a fan morning. of your blog, it, yeah. it's like saved I've, on her computer. I've been really excited to talk to you. Oh, fantastic. Because <laughs> I love Aussies so and I love Canadians. I'm half Canadian. Oh, no way, really? That's yeah. fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be having been born in Canada and raised in Australia. I've, I've really been very lucky throughout my life to live in two great countries. Yeah, those are, yeah, I, by the way, those are two great countries. And your experience here in Manila while you were trying Ooh. to move here, not so good, though. But <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I, I mean, I still, of course, love the Philippines, but yeah, I did have a, I did have a rough ride there. I definitely, um, I definitely had a rough ride. <laughs> All right. Well, Brian, since the last time we talked to you, last week uh, we talked about everything that was going on. Let's just try to get an update about uh, things that are happening with the blog. We heard earlier in the week, but apparently now on your blog it says that this is not going to happen. But Google was trying to shut down your blog. Well, Google was overwhelmed uh, uh, the day before with requests to shut down the blog. Uh, there was a bit of a movement for people to go on the blog and, and flag it. Mm -hmm. uh, for concern and so of course I was devastated when I got the when I got the call I was an email actually so mm -hmm. I immediately called my solicitor mm -hmm. I thought for sure it was going to be shut down uh, pretty fast and we contacted Google and we had a back and forth conversation and we came to the conclusion that um, the content of the blog uh, in fact uh, doesn't uh, go against Google's policy right and if anything, uh, Google first would put a warning to viewers uh, before clicking into the blog that you may be subject to certain subjects and so on and so forth that you may that may be offensive to you, including profanity. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously, you know, in my blog, there it is peppered with profanity. Oh, um, no, no worries. It's just the way I write. Right. Not all of my posts are 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 like that, but some of them are, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently, some people. We're using that as um, as a tool to uh, no way to really. Down. It was yeah, a, uh, that, there's a whole list of complaints. Now, do you know uh, how many how many complaints did you get in total? Did they actually give you the number of complaints? Yeah, once you get 25 complaints, you get flagged. Okay, and I got 42. But oh. uh, I I, they, I had over 540 submissions uh -huh. from viewers from readers, uh -huh. which we forwarded in a huge zip file <laughs> to Google. And um, I think they, in fact, must have opened it and read some because uh, they got back to my solicitor and said that they've removed the, um, the uh, cease and desist order and okay. um, I'm free to continue with my blog. Well, Excellent. It looks like people want your blog <clears throat> taken off the Internet, but for, well, at least Google kept it up there. But someone hacked into your computer the other day? Yeah, two days ago. Uh, I, I'm surprised it took so long because they've been tampering with it for quite some time. Now, I, when you I, say I, they, uh, you, uh, is it somebody who comes to goes to your place, or is it something? It's just all via internet type of hack. No, it's 
tampering all via the internet. Okay. Uh, and I'm very isolated here in Australia. It would take someone, it would be very difficult to find me. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I think I read, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think I read on your blog, it's something like your, your computer was actually confiscated, though, in Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they took the computer from me at my front door. Who's there? They asked me Who's to see he? the computer. The they took down the serial numbers. Uh, they had a brief conversation with me regarding um, who I was, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, but, but who's they, if you don't mind, Brian? When you're talking about somebody came to your front door and took your computer and wrote down the serial number, who are we talking about? Is this like Australian cops? Yeah, we had two uh, state police okay. um, come and okay. uh, with them. I didn't see the consular officials at first. I looked around the corner and they were standing there. And one of them had some papers in his hand and... In fact, for a second there, I thought I was going to be arrested. Uh, I was uh, terrified for for a split second until the police explained to me that they were there on a follow-up call because I called them a couple of days before after getting a, a, a series of uh, terrible death threats. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was actually quite afraid mm-hmm. because I didn't know at that point if they had connections in Australia. I okay. had absolutely no idea how, how far uh, these networks uh, were, so I was, I was very afraid. And they took the computer, uh, they took all the information off of it, they took all of my information, Mm -hmm. and uh, the word kidnapping came up and uh, somebody had written in my blog Mm -hmm. uh, something about Celine being kidnapped or or some ridiculous stuff like that, and they saw that, somebody obviously read it, and that was enough for them to trigger, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. trigger them to come to my door. Okay. And uh, 20 minutes later, they left. Uh, It was all very cordial, and I remember closing the door, leaning against the door, and I was just terrified because I remember um, being taken away by the police in Manila at the hotel, and Mm -hmm. I just had this terrible flashback to that time. That might happen again, something like that. And I kept thinking to myself, even in Australia, I have to deal with, um, with this sort of stuff. You know, I'm not even safe in my own country. Good times with Mo and Mojo. Wake up! 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 Thou shall not bear false witness.